Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to our power series. This is an excellent tool for solving advanced level calculus questions. So in this series, we have already derived few formulas. We are going to take help of those while working forward. So I'll provide you with the links what we have already done. I'll appreciate if you go from the very first video to, to this one so that you understand all the concepts. Now here we are going to derive what is tan inverse of x as sum of polynomials, infinite series. So that is the power series we are talking about. So since we need to work on the function tan inverse x, so you will recall that if I have a function which is tan inverse x, then the derivative of this function is what? The derivative of this function is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Correct? So that is the derivative. Now since that is the derivative, I could always write tan inverse x as integral of this, right? So that means tan inverse x is equal to integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. Correct? Now, in our very first video, we derived the formula, I mean, I should say, the series for 1 over 1 plus x squared, right? So, I would like you to go and check that one, and then, then we can continue. So, if I use that series here, then integration of that kind of a series will be much simpler. So, in short, let me repeat, we started with a very simple equation, which was, uh, uh, which was a geometric equation, geometric series. And it boiled down that that geometric series were 1 over 1 minus x. And the series was 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed uh, plus x to the power of 4, so on, right? Where x value is between plus and minus 1. Now, this is a geometric series where a is 1. You are multiplying by x, so r is x. And infinite series, so sum of that series is 1 over 1 minus x. Now in this, if I substitute uh, x as minus x squared, then what happens? In that case, you get a series which you are looking for, 1 over 1 plus x squared, right? So once you make that substitution, you get this series as 1 over 1 plus, so minus x squared makes it positive. It doesn't make sense to you, right? So you're just replacing all these x's with minus x squared. So you get a series which is 1 over 1 plus x squared is now equal to 1 minus x squared. So I'm replacing this with minus x squared. So alternate plus and minus signs we are going to get, right? And the powers will all become even, right? Getting multiplied by 2. So, so that is how we are going to get odd powers will be with negative coefficients. Even power will be with positive coefficients, right? So I think I missed something. Oh, sorry, 6 and this is 8. I'm sorry. Right, so let me write one more. So x to the power of uh, 10, right? Uh, plus so on. So that is how this series is going to be, right? So we will have powers as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, where the powers of, um, I mean, 4, 8, 12 will be positive coefficients, right? That's the whole idea. So that is this series. And now I think it's simple. We just have our function, which is tan inverse x. And we can now write this as integral of all this. Perfect. So you now understand where we are heading to, right? So we can write now as tan inverse x equal to integral of all this, which is 1 minus x squared plus x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 8 plus so on, right? Okay, dx where absolute value of x is less than 1. And as you can apply the power rule to integrate this series and you get x minus, this becomes plus 3 over 3, right? And that becomes plus x to the power of 5 over 5 minus x to the power of 7 over 7 plus so on with a constant c, right? So that is what we get for tan inverse x. Does it make sense to you? Now, to find the value of c, we can substitute x equals to 0, right? So, if x equals to 0, in that case, all these terms will be 0. So, what we get here is c equals to 0, right? So, therefore, I could now write 
the formula which is right given there which is tan inverse x as equal to x minus x cube over 3 plus x to the power of 5 over 5 minus x to the power of 7 over 7 plus so on correct now in summation form as you can see here is positive you get the idea right so so the the sign will be from n equals to 1 to infinity correct x to the power of n as you can see here and the first one is positive so we have minus 1 to the power of uh, n now as you see the powers are 2n plus 1 correct and the very first one is positive for us so what we could actually do is we could start with 0 right that's the whole thing so if i start with 0 then anything to the power of 0 will be positive 1 right that solves the problem and then when I take this as uh, 2, I will get that negative power. Do you get the idea? So, so I could write this as minus 1 to the power of n. And here the exponent x is 2n. So n is 0. We want 1 here, right? So 2n plus 1, correct? Over the 2n plus 1 in the denominator. So if n is 0, then in that case, we'll get 1 in the denominator for the first one. And if n is 1, then I get 2 plus 1 as 3 and 2 plus 1 as 3. So that works out, right? So, uh, so this is the formula given. However, I think better way, I mean, that is also correct. With n equals to 1, it does work out. But this is a preferred formula, right? So I will rather write this as, as what we have written here. Right. So for n equals to 0 to infinity, right, minus 1 to the power of n, x to the power of 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. So I'll rewrite this formula as x equals to n to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n. And then we write this as x to the power of 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. Correct. So, which is given right here. So, that is the formula which we are going to use for tan inverse of x. Perfect. So, that is how we are going to do it. I mean, okay, that makes sense. So, this becomes our fifth formula in this whole series. Correct. So, in between, we'll introduce more to you, but I hope you understand how beautifully we have used this basic concept of our geometric series to get a function replacing we got some new function and from that new function we could find what tan inverse of x is correct so we can actually write all our trigonometric inverse functions using power series and many others exponential functions and logarithmic functions so that is what we are going to see in this playlist i hope you find it interesting and useful feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.